Hi, it's Justin from the Shearer's Post. Today I'm going to show you how to crutch a sheep. That's taking the wool off the back end of the sheep so it doesn't get fly blown, so it's ready for lambing when the ewes are about to lamb. So first things first, we've got, her, we've got her out here and she's sitting on our legs comfortably. She's fairly comfortable. She's been a little bit agitated because she's, she has wriggled around whilst we've, tried, we've been trying to drag her out of the pen. So we put her right left, uh, we put her left um, leg, front left leg behind our left leg like that. So it's between her brisket and her leg. So that's, that's got her in a nice hole. We're not pushing down hard on her and she's fairly comfortable and she's laying on her left side because that's the way we like to sit. We don't really like to sit flat on our backside. It can hurt our tailbones. So we like to sit where we sit slightly to one side. It's more comfortable, same with the sheep. And so, and so we've got our clicker here. We've got our cord hanging down from the, uh, like, a, like a normal mechanical down tube. And we're, we're set up ready to go with everything here ready to go. So we turn it on. We give it a bit of tension. Not too much. We don't want to over, over tension the cone and cutter. And we want to start out here and go in between the legs. And she's, she's in land. You can see she's uttering up. So that's taking the wall off. Her udder. And we come here and we, when we, when we move back, we move back with our um, our left leg and we roll her back, putting her right leg into the into here and that exposes this part here. And that'll have a little bit of wool that opens up like that. And we want to go across the top of the tail with that. So we do a little blow there and then we come out and we go there and there. And that exposes her vulva. And we move back again with our right foot. We keep that foot there so she can't get up. And we go over the top of the tail. We keep the, the comb on the skin. And we go across the tail again with another half blow. And that clears all that wool out there. And then we can taper the wool off like that. And as you can see, I haven't done many movements of the sheep with my legs. I've put her in here like this, and I've moved back, moved back a little bit more so her front feet don't touch the ground. Moved back a little bit more, and that's exposed her rear end for her crutch. So we can do her crutch and as we're coming around, I can lift that wall a little bit and come around there like that. And she's ready for lambing.